Hi, I'm Jill Chivers from 16 Style Types. And I'm Imogen Lamport from 16 Style Types. So we wanted to talk about, you know, kind of authenticity of dressing, but also being able to use all dressing styles. Mm. You know, they're all at your beck and call. Yes. Um, because often we can have like, you know, we've talked about how some of the, say, the ST have a more pragmatic style. It's mm. often more conservative. It's more naturally classic. Mm. You know, the SFs might have a more you know, aesthetic and beautiful and slightly more, you know, kind of fun. Mm. Um, you know, so each of us has our natural way of going. Mm. But then we will be in situations, different situations that demand different sorts of dress. Yes. And the beauty of all the understanding dressing styles, and if you get your style type report, you also get a really comprehensive um, understanding of those where each of them is explained. And there are seven. And then there's seven dressing styles, and then plus there's the how your style is most likely to use them. Yes. But even without that, you know, you, mm. you can understand that, you know, we understand that there is a thing called classic, and we understand mm. that there's relaxed dressing, and more feminine dressing, and more creative dressing, and more bold and dramatic dressing, like mm. more rebellious dressing. There's all these different dressing styles yeah. that you can dip into. Yes. And one of the things that often happens when people ask me, how do I... You know, I'm naturally dramatic. Mm. That's my natural way of being. Yes. But people sometimes find me intimidating or I mm. need to dress in a way that's that's not so dramatic because I'm in a relaxed environment. I'm having a beach holiday and you know, mm. <laughs> my normal dramatic clothes just don't, they don't, they're not right. right. And so this, what do I do? Well, you can dip into relaxed. Mm. Now, but what you'll choose from it it should be about what you like. Yes. So dressing styles have a large number of elements to them. Yeah. There's a f a s sorts of fabrics you'll find. There's sorts of fit, structure, mm. patterns and prints, mm. um, details, accessories, grooming. Mm. You know, basically everything about an outfit yeah. will have a relationship to a dressing style. But it's going, well, you know, I want to do... Feminine, not with frills and lace, mm. but with softness. Yes. Mm. Or I want to do feminine with a wasted shape. I want this mm. shape. Mm. Um, or I want to do feminine with bling. Right. Or I want to do my bit of feminine, and this is, you know, like, mm. you know, with wafty, you know, or I want to do it with slinky. Mm. Um, there's all sorts of ways we can you know, we can bring that element in mm. and you don't have to do them all. Yes. You know, the number of people who will say to me, I don't do feminine because I don't do frills. Mm. And I was like, you know, there's plenty of ways of, you know, wearing feminine clothing that have nothing to do with frills. And, and this is what's so exciting about this combination of style types and the dressing styles is, first of all, understanding your style essence, your style type and your style pillars, your style values, your style pathway the things that work for you and what's going to make you feel most authentic and true to yourself and then from that place that is home base that is the solid foundation on which every style decision flows from um, and then using the dressing styles in whatever way um, you choose to and for me it was a light bulb moment to recognize that the way i might use say classic can be quite different to how somebody else might use it and i'm still borrowing from it's yeah. still a true interpretation of classic it's just my way of doing it um and so long as i understand enough about what classic really is and it really is classic and there's just a bit of knowledge there that that's the choices that i have and that is so liberating and also so fun to know that you can do that and you know the feminine one is really interesting you know i never thought of myself as a feminine person ever and it's really only through um, my friendship and my work with Imogen that I've come to understand I actually do borrow from feminine quite a lot but in ways that um, let, let me know that the definition of feminine is actually far broader than what I ever thought that it was. Dresses for a start um, you know, are, are feminine. Anything that has a bit of figure shaping to it. You know, we have another friend who says, I really don't like feminine, it's too frilly and flouncy. And I saw her yesterday and she's wearing a flowered top. Yeah, in a very soft fabric. Yes, exactly. So there's an interpretation <laughs> of feminine. A an item of clothing I would never wear, it doesn't appeal to me, but it's feminine and it really suits her. Yes, and so this is where it's kind of, 
understanding that yes there's environment and yes there's these you know you have you'll have a natural affinity to some of the dressing styles yes you know you might have a more quirky more creative dressing style mm. but you work in a conservative environment you need to borrow from the classic so what can you borrow yes and it could be i'm going to get an asymmetric jacket but in a pinstripe in a neutral yeah right you know yeah. so mm -hmm. you know what i've got is i've got the fabric of classic mm. but in a shape and style that is creative Yes. Um, so, and this is what's so great about it is we can mm. meld. Garments aren't one thing. Most garments aren't one thing. Most yeah. there's many things you can go. Oh, okay, it's got a bit of this, a bit of that, and a bit of something else. And I think this is where, when you find your style, it's that layering approach yes. that's going to have you feeling your best and looking your best. A another example is uh, the the dressing style that's bolder and more dramatic, and a personality that draws heavily from that. And how you can do that if you're in an environment that's much more relaxed and casual, say if you're either retired or you live in a part of the world that is the more relaxed uh, place. And one of the ways that you can do that is with accessories. Yes. I think that's one of the best ways of doing it. So you might have a, a, an outfit where the clothing pieces, the foundational pieces, are much more relaxed. But you're wearing something oversized or you're wearing something chunky. Or, or a wearing... large pattern. Yes. Or, or even things like too with that is... I just want my clothes to have a little bit more structure. Mm. So it can be a cardigan, like instead of a jacket, it's a cardigan, or like what Jill's got on, which is a ponty jacket. So mm. it's stretchy, knit, it's comfortable. Yes. But it's got that feeling of structure or, mm. you know, or it could be a bold color. Like, yeah. you know, so there's lots of different ways. Mm. And I think that's where it's knowing. The more you know, the more empowered you are, the easier it becomes. You go, yes. well, which do I want to dip into? Yes. Which elements? And all of the personality dressing styles come from the actual concept of yin and yang, which is quite fascinating. And that's actually how we read lines and shapes and, right. you know, so more advancing and more receding. So mm -hmm. when we think about, you know, the classic dressing style, it's very vertical and straight. Yes. It's about men's suiting. It came from the office. Mm. It came from a, a straight up and down man's suit. It's the pinstripe. Yes. It's the vertical line versus if we think about the feminine, mm. it's about the female, it's the curvy shape, it's mm. the softness. Yes. The classic is all about, you know, which is more advancing, it's about the harder fabrics, it's right. about more structure, right. it's got more dark colours, it's, mm. you know, all those sorts of things versus our feminine, which is a much more yin, much more receding, is mm. about softness and curves and lighter colours and mm. sheerer floaty fabrics and, yeah. and so what we can do is I can dip into over here and over here and mm. I can take a piece here and take a piece there and I can create my own balance. Yeah, and then there are garments that are a beautiful combination of the two of those, and I think of you know beautiful silk kimono in navy, yeah. um, you know that kind of thing. And, and as you say, very few items of clothing are a pure dressing style, um, and certainly within an ensemble, the ability to combine yes. things. But speaking of that, I mean, how many dressing styles would you say in general? And I know it differs from person to person, start up to start up. But what's a good number to keep in mind if you it's more than one and it's it's not seven? Yeah, generally three to four. Right. For most people, I will notice three to four dressing styles on the most of the time. So if I looked at you right now, we've got small detailed beads. So small detailed things, more yin. Right. So it's a little bit more feminine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we've got a bright colour, mm -hmm. a bit more yang, it's a bit more dramatic. Mm. In a kind of classic cut, mm. um, we've got a dress mm. here, which is feminine in a slinkier fabric, a softer, you know, fabric, mm. more feminine, but in a pattern that's dramatic, more yang. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. we're mixing mm. all sorts of things here. When we've got a big sparkly ring so mm. sparkle is feminine but mm. the size of it is dramatic yeah right so it's it's bringing all those elements together it's not now and even too is that the fabric are knit so the mm. jackets are knit it gets comfortable and what about your so ensemble? Ensemble? Relax. What, what if we did the so, same sort of analysis so i've got this floaty soft fabric mm -hmm. which is more feminine yeah it's got a florally sort of pattern as well which is more feminine mm. um 
but it's also very comfortable which is a bit more relaxed right. yeah you know the jewelry it's flowers which is a feminine sort mm. of pattern mm. um, but it's not small and dainty so it's a no. bit more dramatic yeah. and then I've got my big ring and my I've got my butterflies on here <laughs> yeah. and they're sparkly yes but mm. they're big yes so there's the dramatic but also feminine mm. element so you know and then I put some things together maybe a little bit less usually put together you know my pants are actually kind of a, a quirky harem sort of trouser mm. which which is a bit more creative yeah so it's it's always mixing 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 yeah and I think this is the joy this is the to me the joy of dressing oh, is, it's is the that ability <laughs> to mix and match and be you and change and morph and yes. grow yes um, yeah. but still be true to you but also be appropriate where you need to be mm. to blend in if you need to to stand out if you need to or if that's your personality you, you've got all these in your toolkit and this is the beautiful thing about the dressing styles um, that I think is just so exciting it really is a passport into uh, a world of discovery and and you know through our work together and my own training as an image of the cotton and, and interest in this Colour and body shape are really interesting. They're, they're really good foundational pieces, but it's this this stuff where you get to interpret, you get to make it your own. That's where it, style really comes alive and where you really get to claim for yourself what your style pathway and your style journey is. You get to define what's authentic yeah. for you and you get to be dynamic in the way that you express that in your style. I, I just can't, can't imagine anything better when it comes to style expression and style lessons. And this is why you should ignore all the 10 things you must own lists yeah. because those lists were written by one type. Right, absolutely. So it's maybe, you know, for their type right at this moment that it's correct, but all the other 15 types might just go, but I don't need a crisp white shirt yeah. or I don't need leopard print shoes. Yes. Sorry, Jill. <laughs> it's shocking to me that that could be true, but, but there yeah. you have it. So, and that's where I think that those lists are, they're not yeah. relevant to you you mm. might I need you know when I look at these lists I look at them well you need tops and bottoms and top things that go over the top and you need some accessories that's what you need but exactly yes. which ones you choose and the details and the fabrics and the prints and the patterns and how you put them together that is where your personality can shine out absolutely some people can go through life and never have need of a classic set of pearls real yes. or fake that is not required for them to no. feel authentic and true in their style I mean that's often one of the things that's um, posited in those 10 things you must have is the classic pearls. Well, the little black dress. Mm. There's a lot of people who just do not need that. I have owned a few little black dresses and um, apart from very early in my style career, and I'm talking late teens, my disco days, <laughs> I've never had occasion to wear one and the odd times I thought, oh, I should get one. I never wear it. Yeah. So, you know, one example of how those lists can just simply not apply. Well, black pants. I don't mm. think either of us are wearing the classic black pants, you know. Yeah. When I worked in an office, yes, I did wear them. Yeah. But now I don't, it's just not my thing anymore. Yeah. Um, and so I think this is where it's, be wary of that sort of very generic advice. Mm. And, and this is where finding out your style type and, and getting your style type report can really give you a much deeper understanding of how you will put your style together. Your style pathway, Jill's written amazing blog posts about each of the style pathways too you know go yes. and read around we'll link to some of these yeah. um here in the in the accompanying blog post just because the more you know the more empowered you know absolutely um you know about style and fashion and dressing and all the elements that go into it yes the more able you'll be able to go oh today you know it's not my natural way but i can pull from here and i can pull from there when i need to yes so go forth and um explore more about your true and authentic style pathway Bye. <laughs>